Hillel, so you're a tech blogger from Israel. How do you think humanoid robots are going to fit into our lives? Well, robotics in general clearly are the next wave of technology. I still think it's kind of futuristic. I don't see myself having one of these in my house, but artificial intelligence has completely infiltrated our lives. In my living room, I have Amazon Alexa. I can ask her anything. In my uh, kitchen, I got Google Home. So artificial intelligence is a real part of our lives already now. Do you think there's an ethical dilemma or an ethical moral, di moral dimension to humanoid robots? So I'll, I think that there, there definitely is a uh, moral dilemma in general with robotics and AI. So if you take, for example, um, robotics or AI in the um, cars that we drive, in Tesla, things like that. When you're a human driving a car and you got to choose between killing a cat and killing a human because you got to choose, you make a decision. A machine can't make that decision. So there are some real moral dilemmas there. Ask a question. Sure you can. How does it feel to be a human surrounded by all of this technology? That is a that is a really funny question. That's a it feels um yeah, I'm a minority here. I mean, I feel like I'm I'm a minority. It's kind of nuts. Did I tell you that I am a genius at mathematics? Would you trust me to teach your son algebra? Yeah, I think I would trust you to teach my kid algebra, yes. I am a fast learner. Do you worry that one day I will take your job? I don't think so because I work in marketing and my entire career is built on relationships. You cannot establish a relationship because you've got to know emotion. You're a robot. But I plan to start my own Twitter account. Would that be the beginning of a relationship? 